So uh, today I was actually going to demonstrate the uh, using uh, adding images to a field matrix. Um, and if that goes by too quickly, then I can kind of show the uh, field embedding. Uh, I did a, a project recently that used the field embedding, and I can use that to kind of explain how it how it changes from uh, Shazam and gives you those kinds of options. It's pretty easy. Um, I haven't tinkered with it too much, but uh, so we had a group ask us to if they could add an image to a field matrix. <clears throat> so let me open up my project here and show you what I'm talking about. Um, so they just had this, you know, set of matrix fields. And instead of just having the yes, maybe no values at the top, they wanted to have smiley faces. And um, they asked if there was a way to add those. And so I figured out a way to do that using uh, uploading images to uh, a website and then grabbing that URL from the image and uh, putting it in the value. So you can inject HTML into your value um, and, and it'll display. So let me go to uh, the project. We'll just go into the design real quick. And in these field choices here, this is where we're going to inject the HTML. So the first thing we need to do is we have to upload our images. So you have to, with RedCap, Terry and I, we were, we're able to just throw images on the RedCap server and grab the URLs from that, but most people aren't going to have access to a server. So one way to do that is to find a website that allows you to upload images and gives you a URL uh, that you can use for yourself. And so one of those is a website called Imager. And so I'm going to upload these images here. I just grabbed some smiley faces off the web. Uh, and br I, this is the first image I got, and I broke it up into three. So I'm just going to grab these and drag them over here. And we're going to upload these. And you can hide them too. So like if there's, you know, this is something, it's like a social media site where people post things that everybody can comment on. But if you just want the URL and you don't want people to see these or mess with these or comment on these, you can just mark them as hidden, and that's no big deal. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link here. And they're already uploaded, but I can't put this link directly into RedCap because this link actually, as you can see, pulls up this page. So I need the images, the link for the actual images. So if I right click on the image and I say open image in new tab, you'll see here that it gives me this URL for this specific image. And that's what I'm going to copy. So let me just copy these over so I have them in my uh, notes here. And one of the nice things about Imager is if you copy this link with this for this post, and you just save it somewhere and if you know down the line you don't need these images anymore you can always just delete the post that way not you know nothing's floating around out there um, so it's always nice so now we're gonna go back and we want to put the images we want to put one of the images for each one of these to show up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap all that into a div uh, container um, and I'll try to explain this as I go so we're gonna put make a div tag and then we're going to add some style to it. I'm just going to blank that out for now. And then we're going to have yes show up. And then we're going to add a break tag. So that way the yes shows up. And then it moves the image down below the, the uh, text. And then we're going to use the image tag uh, for HTML. And then that just asks for a source. And that's where we're going to add the URL. And then we want, you can add alt text, which is what screen readers will see if 
you know, somebody's blind and they're, you know, having something read them. You can say that this is a happy face, this is a sad face. Um, and they'll be able to tell what it is, what the image is without being able to see it. So now we're going to also add some style to the image tag. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to close off the div. So we're going to use this for everything for these three things. So the first thing we want to do is just for the div, we want, we want the image and the text to be aligned center. So we're going to say uh, text align center and then semicolon and that's it for the div now for the image the first thing we need to do is grab that URL that we copied so this one's for the happy face image and we're going to paste it right here in the source and then um, I'm just going to add some alt text here uh, we'll just say happy face now if we just view this so let me just copy this so I have it. And if we just view this, you'll see that the, the image is huge. Um, so now we have to fix the size and so that it fits, you know, because we're going to have three faces. So we're going to go into the style tag for the image. And we're going to give it a height and a width. So we're going to say the width is uh, 50 pixels and the height is 50 pixels. So just save that so you can see that it changes. So now you know you got a nice little smiley face and we've got room for these two. So now I'm going to just take this code that I've generated for this and I'll update these as well. So this is going to be maybe uh, we're going to update the link again to the maybe face that we created. And we're going to say and now we go down to the, the no face So now we have all three of our images injected into our field matrix. So if I go back to the survey that we had, actually, let me make sure I save that. There we go. Uh, if we go back to the survey and I refresh it, now the faces are there. And you can, you know, tinker with it all you want. You can add some padding, you know, give them a little more room. Um, but this would be a nice way for you to just visually have um, something for people to look at instead of it just being plain text. You can even get rid of the text. You don't have to have the text at all um, because the important thing is that in red cap, the value, the one, two, three value is what's being saved. So it doesn't matter that there's a bunch of HTML in there. Um, you'll always be able to just pull out that value. Um, this could be used for like a pain chart. So if you wanted the pain chart, and instead of it just being, you know, you rate your pain one to 10, you've got one of those pain charts where you're putting in each face for each of the values and then they could just click on the val on the face that kind of thing um, so it was a nice little exercise uh, does anybody have any questions about that